We have a long history of investing in our communities and all of our markets have been very active over the years. It's just very fundamental and core to who we are. But we felt it was important to put a strategy together that was focused and really would begin to drive specific outcomes. So in 2016, we formed the first in the community strategy and we set very specific goals that we wanted to see accomplished. So um, by 2020, we wanted to see uh, our company invest $85 million back into the communities in which we operate and where we live uh, and work every single day. And we wanted to encourage our employees as well to contribute 100,000 volunteer hours over that time, the same time frame. I think it's important for us to have a community strategy first and foremost, um, because if the community is strong and vibrant and growing, that creates a, an opportunity for everyone within that community to be doing well, businesses and individuals, and then naturally it creates an environment where the bank will be successful as well. So I just truly believe, and our company, company believes, if communities are successful, the bank will be successful as well. So that's real fundamental um, to who we are and a belief that we hold. But um, there also is a responsibility that comes with that. And so the first in the community program was really the formalization of that responsibility that we feel we have as bankers to be very purposeful and intentional in uh, giving back and investing in our communities. You know, specifically with the first in the community strategy, um, we have eight areas or eight pillars that we're focusing on broadly, but three in particular that are of specific importance to us, strong local economies or economic development, stable housing, and then an educated workforce. And so for those three, we wanted to set very specific goals that we would like to see accomplished over uh, the time frame that this first strategy is running, so from 2016 to the beginning of uh, 2020. And what we said was we wanted to see over that time frame 5,000 homes created or rehabbed. Uh, we wanted to see 25,000 jobs created and 50,000 individuals moved um, closer to economic self-sufficiency. So we've been tracking our progress uh, over uh, the years that this has played out and we're really pleased with uh, how we're performing and are very confident that we'll be able to accomplish all three of those by the end of, uh, by the end of this term. So I lead the Wholesale Banking Group, which includes all of our market presidents and community leadership, along with commercial banking and commercial real estate, ag, many of the services that serve businesses across our footprint. And as we were forming the Wholesale Banking Group, it was important for us to commit at a community level. The reason we really did that is, from our perspective, we wanted to make sure um, that we didn't see a retraction in any of those areas. Uh, we didn't want to see the quality of our teams erode in any of our markets. Uh, we wanted to make good decisions very close to our clients. And we also know that those that live and work in those communities every day are the best ones to make decisions on how to direct uh, philanthropic and local community investments. So that's been our commitment to those market presidents and to leaderships uh, across the footprint and um, we, we really believe that it'll serve us well for the long term.